Hello kids, can you help Alone Ores get one of those leg pieces? I can't hear you. Alright, let's do it. That is not a leg piece. You guys didn't do shit. So now that we have the weird intro out of the way, let's see what the second loot is. And we get- Oh, the first pheromone! Sweet! Maybe you guys were cheering for me on the second kill, not the first one. Hydrix ball tips though, actually that's that's some money, not too bad, but the pheromone is... Wait, I can reset Enrage with that as I get like a free session anyways all the time, I don't really need it to not be in a session. I don't know how to explain it, but like if you have one of these and you do, don't go into a session, it works like you're going into a session, meaning it will always be weak to what you're strong against. If that makes sense. It's really weird, but anyways I can actually use this to reset the Enrage, so I can actually do like six or even more than that like eight kills a day on one day that's not too bad look at this shit what is this supposed to mean i get to the last phase and i get disconnected my internet still works it's just the servers god damn it jx and now it, my i just got logged out it's actually finally my favorite path now, Spider Minions is blocked and uh, therefore I extended my auras, I have 2 hours of sharpshooter auras so we should be able to do like 6 kills now on this uh, middle path, so let's see what we get for the first kill and we get some Hydrix wall tips. Kill number 2 for some rune play bodies or some magic seed maybe. Oh, I just got a new record kill on 7 minutes and 50 seconds. Now, even though it's path 2 and 3, I think it's pretty good with using a sun spear. So let's see what we get for the third loot. Alright, some water talismans. I think that was kill number 45, by the way. I'll just check real quick. If I can actually spell correctly, if I'm not being stupid now. Araxi, alright, there we go. I have 45 kill count, sweet. I cannot really remember if I've ever done 4 kills in a trip before, but now I have at least, and I think it's like 65% on rage, so let's see what we get for this one. And we get some shitty ass loot as well for it. Thank you! Alright, now for sure I've never done 5 kills in one trip, and this is like 90% on rage, so can we get something good for this? Uh, runes. Actually, nothing good whatsoever. Well, actually, these runes are not too bad because I kind of want to get 80 so I can get invention up. Uh, well, start getting to invention. So I'll take it. Screw it. That is officially my first 100% enraged kill on Araxor with a Sun Spear. That's actually really cool. Let's see what we get for this one. Oh, nice. Onyx Bolts. Wait, how much money is this? This is like, if I enchant all of these, that's like 9k each. So this is actually like 1.8 mil, is it not? That's some awesome money. I am so goddamn poor now. So that's an amazing drop, like for reals. It's really, really good. So we have two levels incoming and one of them is going to be divination, I'm going to hit 74 divination and goddamn this is so slow, I hate divination. I, the thing is, I've said before I like divination, yeah I do like divination when I can like super afk it, when I don't really have to care that much at all, but when I need something really quick, like I really need 75 divination to be able to do fate of the gods because I kinda want that unlocked, as well as the quest points for it is good. So, when I really need it to get it done fast, it's so frustrating because it's just such a slow skill. Like, this is insanely slow. Anyways, done with that, let's turn in the challenge and get some dungeoneering gains. And we got 167 for a extended dungeoneering challenge. I hit 88 dungeoneer on that as well, so that's pretty cool. Uh, as soon as I do get a daily challenge of dungeoneering, I do extend it and I complete it because I kind of need the tokens anyways for a Ring of Vigor and getting 90 dungeoneering for like the Demon Horn necklace is very good. So yeah, that's two levels done there. So you guys remember how I said in my last video, I kind of wanted to do more hard clue scrolls and overall just clue scrolls and well, now that I'm recording this, I actually just got an elite clue scroll and here we go for a hard clue scroll. And yeah, this is live commentary, I did not expect that hard clue to drop there, so that's quite interesting, but yeah, I'm doing a, a Slayer Assignment of Greater Demons now, and I, even though I don't really need any items from this boss, because I have like 8 Subjugation Gloves, and I don't really feel like I need any duplicates for like the garb and the gown, but even if I do get them, it's not bad, because I can use them for invention and disassemble them for even more invention experience, or I could just disassemble them for components, so... That's uh, still good to get them, but yep, I just got an elite and the hard clue scroll we're going to do after this trip. Now you might be asking, why do I still have 173 kill count on Greater Demons even though I completed both the hard and elite clue? Well, I died like two kills after the recording because I was kind of slacking on uh, focusing on the game. 
But nonetheless, we completed the hard clue and the elite clue, so when I complete this, I can go back to Sammy and maybe get uh, another hard and elite. So, we got that going for us at least, but let's open the hard one first. For uh, utterly shit loot, pretty much. Nothing. Actually, the nature runes are not that bad, because I, I have like 200 in the bank, and I kind of need to start crafting some, I think, but... Yeah, getting some from a hard clue, not too bad, I guess. Let's open the elite one. And we get- What? Two of the same page in one? I have never seen that. I have absolutely never seen that. And even though I can reroll this one, and I think the bundles book is useless, I actually think the bundles book is absolutely terrible, I'm still going to keep this because it's neat as fuck. Like, what the fuck? I've never seen- uh, Sorry for the swearing, but I've never seen- two of the same page ever, like what are the odds of that? So I'm just going to keep that for cool measures. I'll just AFK here, I think it's like 10 seconds left of the cash, but uh, yeah, there we go, and I think we're going to hit 75 divination on this, or very close to it, 26, yeah, there we go. So I have 75 now, and if we go all the way to my- wait, what? There's a new icon here? Quest? Interesting, that's cool, I haven't seen that. Um, but yeah, if we go down here to F, if I can find that, and then we go to Fate of the Gods, and uh, there we go. Every single requirement is done, and uh, these two are just like extra requirements, so if you do the ritual of the Madrat and the Firemaker's Curse, you unlock some extra stuff, but I really don't need that right now, and the rewards are two quest points. Look at this. 125,000 magic, 100k divination, 100k slayer, 75k agility, 50k summoning, and uh, access to the elder energies and all that kind of good stuff. So that's, that's really cool to have uh, unlocked so I can actually do that now. Now, as I said earlier, even though I really don't need this, it's still pretty cool. Like, another Samurakian Spear, I can't- wait, this is tier 75. That might actually be useful to, like, augment and use, because it's also a spear. So maybe it works like a polearm, I think it does, so I can, like, use it on, um, like, where there's a lot of mobsters. Mobsters, what the fuck did I just say? Alright, well, I just got a Samurakian Spear, but I couldn't get live commentary for it, for it unfortunately, because- well, I just got a Samurai Kian Spear, but unfortunately I couldn't record it because I fucked it up, like, you know, my Swedish accent sometimes do stupid things, like, I, I think I was going to say monsters and I say MOBAs, I don't know what the hell I'm doing sometimes, but anyways, we got a Samurai Kian Spear and I just got specced as well, um, but yeah, as I said earlier, I really don't need it, but it's still pretty cool for invention, I guess, I think it's Samurai Kian Component, whatever it's called, or I can just augment it and just disassemble it in the future, so, not too bad. Alright, so again we have a hard clue score on the elite clue, and I know we can reroll the elite one because last time I got two bundles page one, which is kind of weird. Anyways, let's open the hard one first. I can't remember if we can reroll this one, and we can. This is worth 1.5 million, and it's due to the puzzle skipping tickets, which I really don't need. So I'm going to reroll this one and get a die. That is not a die, but it is a combo. Cheers, mate. Let's just uh, exit that real quick and open the elite one. Let's see, I think it's this one. Yeah, that's correct. And unlock this one for... One biscuit! There we have it! I didn't even know you could get one. What the fuck? That's so weird. Well, I know why I got one. It's because you can only get 200 maximum, and I have 199 of them. But I thought, e like, before I thought it would stop giving me because it couldn't give me one. So it would just give me purple sweets from now on, but apparently that's not the case. Interesting, but this is pretty bad of a reward, so I'm just going to reroll it. Even though it looks pretty cool, like, I thought that was some new item, like a charm or something. It looked really weird. Let's confirm this and get another biscuit! Dude, I'm not even mad. Not even mad. Imagine if I wouldn't have had this biscuit, there would have, would have been 18 prey pots and 15 royal dragon eyes. Which would have been absolutely awful, but just because of this one biscuit, I'm goddamn happy, dude. I love reading comments from all of my videos that I make, and sometimes I see people saying, Stop whining, you little bitch. I have done like 1,200 Araxor kills with three legs completed, and you complain that you've done like 45 kills or what without a leg piece. Dude. I could not ever go 1,100 kills making three legs overall. I would go insane, and I con like I commend you for being able to do that. You are awesome. If you did manage to do that, if you, even if you called me a bitch, you are a cool ass person. You know who you are, and let's get a leg piece to make you upset. Never mind. 
Magic Seed. Actually, leveling defense has been like the quickest thing ever. I'm already close to 96, so we're getting there. We're really getting close to 99. So let's see what this loot is. Some Hydrix Ball Tips. Let's do a third one and last one, actually. Alright then, let's see what the last loot is. Please be something good for once. And we get U-Logs. Like, these three kills have been awful. I actually get really unlucky on Araxor drops. I, I personally, I think I'm really unlucky with Araxor, but maybe the tides will turn soon enough. I still do have a lot of keys in my bank, like probably 45 ascension keys overall in the bank that I already have the signets of but getting a duplicate would just work towards my second crossbow if I would ever go to that length of getting one or just overall it's good for serenic scale so overall it's pretty good to just do it anyways and that's what I'm going to be doing so I'm going to start off with the primers ones I think I have 17 or 19 I can't remember so let's see what I get from that and this is all the keys by the way so this is 15 uh, 17 all right, that's all the Primus keys and we have 152 kill count overall on legions We did get actually one sirenic scale, but when I'm actually doing this I every time I do this I remind myself and I realize that this is like amazing overall like it's good money from all the alkyballs you get it's good the herb lore supplies good everything really so i'm just happy doing this honestly like these shards as well i've been recommended to uh make ascension bolts of them in the future for some awesome fletching experience so that's always good to have in my bank i guess i think i have like 6k of them or something Alright, so I just got a Turchus Signet, that is the second one because I already had a Turchus one and overall I've done like 12 Quartus keys, 2 Quintus keys and like 10 Turchus keys. So I've been doing a lot of keys without getting anything but now I got a Signet so I'm really happy with that and this is the second one as I said, I think I said it at least and um... Well, that is for the second Ascension Crossbow. If I were to make one, I doubt I will make one. But if I do decide to make one, if I'm lucky on the other ones as well, you know, in the future, then I might as well do it. So it's pretty cool to have one now. Um, first duplicate of any of the Signets. Now that is going to do it for Legions, I have no more keys and we got one Signet from like 45 keys overall I guess, so it's not too bad overall at the end of the day, but that is going to be it for this video, I hope you guys did enjoy it and uh, I got one biscuit and a, an Elite Clue Scroll, which was actually quite weird looking, but I thank you all for watching and take care guys.